Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the Java coding questions for the <coughs> Cognizant CSG exam. So yesterday also I made one video in which I have discussed one Java coding question, and today is my second uh, discussion of the coding questions which were asked in CSG in previous years. So guys, <coughs> make sure that you are watching this till the end because you will get to know the type of the questions which are getting asked in this Cognizant Continuous Skill Development Test. So guys. If you want more such videos, I have a dedicated playlist on my channel with the name Cognizant Assimilation slash CSD Test Questions in which I am posting both Java as well as SQL coding questions. Okay. And as many of you will be having your CSD exam tomorrow and some of you must be having the exam at the, uh, at the end of the October. So this video is for all of you. So make sure to practice very much and watch this video till the end. So guys, now let's start this video and before starting the video, Please hit that like as well as the subscribe button for this channel so that you can get to know the latest videos that I am posting on this channel. So guys now let's start this video. So question here is given an array ARR of size n, find the index of first repeating element. The element should occur more than once and the index of its first occurrence should be smallest. So I am repeating the question for you to make it simple. So you are given, given an array. Okay. So what you have to do, you will have to find the index of the first repeating element. What is a repeating element? The element which is occurring more than once in the array. Okay. So you have to find the index of the first repeating element. So if you are looking into this array, so let's just simply find out that what are the repeating elements in this array. So first element is one. So can you see that one is repeating that is coming more than once? So answer is no. So one is not a repeating element. Next is five. So is five a repeating element? So yes, five is coming total twice in this array. So therefore five is the repeating element. Okay. Next is three. Is three a repeating element? So answer is yes. There are two threes present in this array. So therefore three is also a repeating element. Now if you will traverse through entire array, you will find that only five and three are the repeating elements. Now, since you have two repeating elements, what does the question says? The element should occur more than once and the index of its first occurrence should be smallest. Find the index of the first repeating element. So out of this 5 and 3, which element is coming first? So this 5 is coming first then 3, then is coming before then 3. So therefore we have to print the index of this 5. Okay, so there are two conditions. A repeating element must, have, must come more than once in the array and the index must be smallest. Okay, so first index should be printed. So 5 and 3 are the two elements that are repeating and 5 being coming first so therefore index of this 5 will be printed so here the index of 5 is 1 therefore our answer is also 1 so i hope now the question is clear to you it's very simple you have to find the repeating elements you have to find the index of first repeating element okay so i hope now the question is clear to you let's just now move towards the approach and then finally we will be discussing the code of this question okay so now let's just see that what is the approach we have to follow and guys if you are liking this video till now please hit that like and subscribe button Okay, so we will be using a hash map based approach. So the question yesterday I discussed in that also hash map was used and the question today I am discussing in this case also hash map is getting used. So if you have time go and study about hash map. Okay, in Java it would be good. So we will be using the hash map approach. What we will do I, I have written the approach step by step and once I am reading this approach then what we will do what I will do I will dry run this entire approach on this particular array so that things become more clear to you that how the entire code will be working how the entire approach will be working so here first step will be initialize a min val variable with int max this variable will store the index of the first repeating element so once we are starting our code so we have to take a variable known as min val initially it will be it will be having the value of int max that is the maximum integer value it can hold now once our entire approach will be over, this min val variable will store the index of the first repeating element. So basically this variable will be used to store the index of the first repeating element. Okay. Next thing is iterate over the array. So this is the basic thing that we need to do. You have to iterate over this array one by one. Then only we will be able to find the repeating elements and their index. Next thing is while iterating over the array. Okay. If the current element is not present in the hash map, Put the current element in the hash map with its index as value. So see, we are using a hash map approach. In hash map, we know there is key and value pair. So key will be the element. Key will be the element, for example, 1, 5, 3. And value will be its first occurrence index, first occurrence index. 
so if one is in the hash map then its value will be corresponding zero because uh, one is first occurring at zeroth index and similarly if three will be if three will be in the hash map then its value will be this two that is index of its first occurrence so three will be key and two as its index will be the value okay so if the current element is not present in the hash map put the current element in the hash map with its index as value okay next thing if the current element is already present in the hash map it means that current element is duplicate compare the already present index in this hash map with the min val variable and update the min val variable so i know that this point will not these two points will not be clear to you just by reading it so now let's just start with the dry running of this approach that how we will uh, use this entire approach and dry run and how we will get our answer so first thing is we have taken our min val variable and we have initialized with the int max okay next thing is iterate over the array so what we will do we will be iterating over this entire array one element by one element okay so starting with this one okay our i pointer is at this one now we have to check if the current element is not present in the hash map put the current element in the hash map with its index as value so currently is one present in the hash map so answer is no one is not present in the hash map so what we'll do we will simply put this one in the hash map with <laughs> value as its index so what is the index of this one it is zero so roll of <laughs> this one is over next is five okay so now we are at five we will again check if the current element is not present in the hash map put the current element in the hash map with its index as value so is five present in the hash map answer is no so what we'll do we'll put this five in the hash map with its index value as one now we will move again ahead on this element again this element is not present in the hash map again we will put this element in the hash map with index value as 2 now again we will go to next element that is 4 ok so 4 is again not present in the hash map but we will do we will add it in the hash map with its value as 3 ok now again we will move towards the next value that is 3 now this if condition will not work work because 3 is already present in the hash map now this else condition will work that is so this is not if this is else so else the current element is already present in the hash map it means current element is duplicate so yes we are coming on this 3 3 is already present in the hash map so it means this 3 is a duplicate element now compare the already present index in the hash map with the min value with the min val variable and update the min val variable so since this 3 is already present in the hash map it means it's a duplicate value now what we'll do we will compare the value of this uh, of this index with that is already present in this hash map so this is two indexes present with this int max we will compare the these two values so int max with two so which one is minimum so answer is two so 2 is minimum so now our min value is 2 ok now this roll <coughs> roll of this 3 is over now what we will do we will move ahead this 5 now we will check <coughs> so is 5 present in the hash map so answer is yes the 5 is already present in the hash map it means that <coughs> this 5 is also a duplicate element now again what we will do compare the already present index in this hash map so what is the already present index in the hash map it is 1 so 1 is the already present index in the hash map of this 5 with the with the value of min val variable so what is the value of min val variable so it is 2 we will are comparing this 1 with this 2 so which one is smaller so smaller is 1 so it will come as 1 now now we will move ahead again on this 6 element so 6 is present in the hash map answer is no so we will simply go 6 and add it in the hash map with its uh, index as 6 only okay now we will go ahead and now it is the end of the array so once the iteration is over this min val variable will contain the index of the first repeating element you can see in this case the first repeating element was 5 and its index was 1 so this is how using this approach only we are able to find the index of the first repeating element so i hope now the question and approach are clear to you now let's just quickly move towards the coding part and do hit that like and subscribe button if you are finding this video useful okay so guys for saving time i have already written the code so let's just discuss this code line by line so what i have done i have only implemented the function as of now but it will depend on your editor or on your organization whether you will have to take input on your own or not 
but for saving time i've just implemented the major function only so as i've told you we are using the hash map based approach we are declaring the hash map here we are taking a min val variable which will store the index of the first repeating element we are initializing it with sorry we are initializing it with integer dot max value okay now what we are doing we are iterating over the array that is our input array arr here and the length of array is given as n now we are checking if the current element is already present in the array or not so if it is not present in the array then what we are doing we are simply putting that uh, element inside the hash map and updating it updating its index that is the current index now if that element is already present in the hash map then what we are doing we are simply comparing the value of min val with the already present with the already present index of that element in the hash map okay this is the already present index of that element in the hash map and we are comparing it with the min value and out of these both values whichever is minimum we are updating this min val variable so once this iteration is over we are simply returning this min val value it will contain the ind contain the index of the first repeating element that is the duplicate element now if you want to know that how we are but how exactly things are working in this for loop you can always go back and see our approach i have discussed in detail okay uh, that this approach that i have discussed i have discussed it in detail so you can always go back and check it and let's just now test it on some custom inputs so if we have uh, like seven variables we have okay let's just give a uh, 1 2 3 2 3 4 and 5 so here you can see there are two elements repeating 2 3 and 2 3 so answer should be 1 in this case because 2 is the first repeating element and its its index is 1 only so here you can see the answer is 1 so similarly if you you can check on any of the test cases it will give you the correct answer let me just tell you one more test case that is 5 4 3 1 and 1 so in this case only one is the repeating element and the index of that repeating element is 3 so answer should be 3 so this code will pass all the test cases that will be given to you so guys this was it for this video and if you want more such videos i will be posting it in future tomorrow is the csg exam i will try to post the questions that will be asked in that and till then if you want to practice you can always go to this playlist and practice i will give you the, this link in the description box so guys this was it for this video thank you for watching this video and do hit that subscribe and like button for this video Thank you for watching this video.